Hey guys, welcome back. In the last video, we, we looked at post formats and I showed you how we could create a, an aside post and a photo gallery post uh, with our theme. Now what I want to do is work on the front page, the custom front page. Now the way it is now, we have our blog posts as our front page, but we want to change that. All right, so we're going to go to the back end and go to pages. And we're going to create two new pages. This one is going to be called home and it's going to be completely blank. We'll publish it. And then we're going to create another page called blog. Leave it, leave it uh, with no content, publish it. Now we're going to go to settings and go to reading. And we're going to choose this static page option for the front page. For front page, we'll choose home. For post page, we'll choose blog. Save. And then we're going to go to appearance menus and we're just going to add that blog page to our menu. Save it, go back, reload. And now we have just a static page for our home page. If we click on blog, that takes us to the blog post page. OK, so now we want to work on our home page. Now, in order to do to have a separate layout, we need to go to our theme folder and create a file called front-page.php. And now if we go and reload, it's completely blank because it's looking at this page. Now what I want to do is open up our front.html page that we created way back in our um, HTML template. Now we don't want to copy the whole thing because we want um, to include our header. So first thing we'll do here is say PHP, uh, I'm sorry, get header. Okay. Now for the footer, I was thinking about this a little earlier because now the footer we have the sidebar in okay we don't want that so we're just going to have to add a conditional here in a second all right so um let's go and put in php get footer all right now if we go back to our front page and reload this is what we get okay we have the header we have our sidebar and footer now let's go into footer PHP and let's see, we don't want any of this stuff here. All right, so what I'm going to do is go to the top and say PHP if, let's say if is front page, okay, but we we want we want this if it's not the front page so let's put an exclamation mark here and then we want this to end here all right so let's take a look at that okay so now our sidebar is gone oh actually you know what we need the container div so let's Let's actually put this right here. All right. So in our front page, we're going to want a div with the class. Actually, you know what? I don't think we even need that. No, we don't. Um, so now we can go to our front HTML and let's grab this section in the boxes section. Okay, we'll take that. And let's go to front page and paste that in. See what we get. Okay, so there's no image. That's why we can't see the text. And we also um, we didn't include the font awesome so we can't see the icon. Now another issue is we have this whole thing in a container so it's cutting it off right here and we don't want that and the reason that it's doing it is because in the header file we have the div the container so we have to figure this out I think what I'm going to do 
is not use the get header and get footer and then just kind of have our own header for the front page. So this ends, this is the, um, this contains the navigation. So let's grab from here up and we'll copy that, go to the front and not, not that page, front page.php. And then we'll just replace get header with that. All right, same thing with footer. We're not going to use get footer, but we will take what we need from it, which is this up to here. All right, we'll copy that and let's paste that in and then save. There we go. So now it goes across the whole page. Now for the image and for the text here, what I want to do is I want to implement the theme customizer. So in the back end, we want a place where we can go and we can edit this text and we can also change the image as we as we see fit. All right. Um, but we're not going to get to that just yet. So what I'm going to do is just give it a background color so that we can actually see the text. All right. So let's go to style CSS and go to where we have our showcase. Okay, and let's just put um, right here. We'll go like that. And then at least we can see the, the text and stuff. All right, now for the icons to show up, we need the font awesome uh, CDN. So in front HTML, we have that right here. So let's just copy that. And we'll go and put that in our front page.php up in the header. Okay, and we should probably put it in our header.php file as well in case we want to use it later on. Okay, so now if we go back and reload, now we have our icons. All right, and these are going to be widgets, by the way, these three boxes. So I guess we could probably do that now, those widgets. So let's go to functions.php and go down to where we have our init widgets. And I'm going to copy this whole register sidebar and paste it in again. And we'll change this to, let's say, box one. Change this to box one. And let's see, we'll go back to front page to where we have our boxes. All right, and what we want to do is we want the class of box. Um, we want that embedded in the widget. So back in functions, we're going to uh, replace this with box. OK, and then for the heading, let's see what do we have for that H3. So we'll change H4 to H3. All right, and then we're going to copy this again, and we need two more. OK, this one's going to be box two. And this one will be box three. OK, save it. And if we go back to the back end and go to widgets, you should now see box one through three. So in our front page, let me just let me close these up. OK, so we want to grab everything that's inside of the, the box div. So the icon, the H3 and the paragraph. And I'm going to cut that out and then go and add a text widget to box one. OK, we'll paste that in. And actually, you know what, we're not going to have the title. We're not going to have this as the actual title because we want to keep it here under the icon. So we're just going to leave the title blank and click save. And then back in here, we just want to do PHP if is active sidebar. OK, remember, just because it's a it, it says active sidebar doesn't mean that's the sidebar position. 
Okay, we want to pass in the ID of the widget, which is box one. And then in here, we just want to say PHP dynamic sidebar and then pass in box one. Okay, and then let's do the same for the other ones. We're going to grab this, cut it out, bring text over to box two, paste that in, save it. And then this is going to have the same thing, except it's going to be box two. And same thing with the last one. Okay, that'll be box three. So let's save that. Make sure all your widgets are saved. If we go back and reload, uh, now we have the, the box class in the widget, so we want to get rid of it here. Oops. And there we go. So these are now coming from the widgets. So in the next video, which will probably be the last video, uh, I'm going to show you how we can implement the theme customizer so that we can edit this stuff from the back end.